Yuck. So I bought this car from a guy who hit a deer, apparently. And uh, so he replaced this front bumper, headlight, and fender. But never painted them. And we bought it before we painted it. So anyway, let's see if uh, we let it sit for a while, obviously, and now this new fender is rusting. Let's see if we can get it sanded down. I bought some color matched paint for it. Let's see if we can paint it and make it look halfway decent. So we're gonna start with our uh, red scuff pad, primer scuff pad, and we're just gonna have to hit everything that we're gonna paint. Um, we're gonna do this kind of cheap, kind of quick, so we're not gonna blend in any of these panels. It's gonna look a lot better than having black, rusty stuff. Um, so this isn't the completely correct way to spray a car. You should scratch up this a little bit, scratch up that a little bit, paint it on the car, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna paint these panels to get them a lot closer than black and rusty, and then slap them back on the car. All right, so anyway, we're gonna scuff down everything with a red scotch bright. Try not to get too close to the paint, then we're gonna pull them off, finish uh, scotch bright and everything, and we'll be ready for primer. So we got these sanded a little bit. We got them off the car so we can get the edges well. Sand them down good, get all these extra trim pieces off. So let's finish sanding. Then we'll clean them up good. No bumper. And uh, get to painting some primer. Now we do a little wet sanding and cleaning. All right, so now we got them mount them up, mounted up here on these fender holders. I got them zip tied just to kind of make sure they don't move. Hold them a little more level. Got some pre paint and prep. This is just some stuff from Eastwood I had. Um, wipe them down, let them dry off, and then start spraying primer. All right, so I got this automotive touchup.com paint. Got a kit that's all ready to spray so we don't have to mix anything. Let's pour it in our gun and start spraying.
All right, we're gonna take 600 grit, wet sand this down. Lightly wet sand, light water.
Well, I'm no professional, but they're blue now. Got a little bit of a run there that I bet I could wet sand out if I really cared that much. What bothers me uh, is I got one spray in and I guess my cheapo filter had too much water in it or something. So we got some of these little fish eyes come out. That's the only thing I can think of because the first spray went down well. Like I say, is this one spray gave it to me. I switched filters and they got better, but that sucks. I don't know if I'd be able to sand down and buff that, but hey, it's blue. It'll make mama happy. Let's smash the grill back in this and put it back on that poor old car. There it is on the car. The color matches better than I thought it was. Would be. I mean, that's damn near perfect. Like I say, it's got a little bit of that fish eye going on there. I don't know if I'll be able to buff that out or not, but man, for the price, for the little bit of effort. I think it turned out pretty all right. On to the next project. Looks even better in the sun. Just have to figure out something to do with all that orange peely fish eye yuckness. Sweet. <laughs> 